Hey kids, Mr Fly here, hope you're well. Now, bike theft is very much a real thing here in the UK, particularly if you live in a big city. And something that I frequently get asked about is, how do I keep my bikes nice and secure both here, at home in the garage, and when I'm out and about on tour? Well, in this video, what I want to do is take you through the best bits of kit that I found uh, to keep my bikes nice and safe. So if you're interested in protecting your pride and joy, stick around and stay tuned. Of course, there's no such thing as a fully secure motorcycle or indeed any possession uh, for that matter. If somebody really wants to steal your stuff, they'll probably find a way. But uh, many years ago, I used to work for an IT software firm, specialists in IT security. And uh, we used to talk about providing layers of security, making it as difficult as possible for it, through using multiple products for somebody to get your stuff and steal it. And uh, that was software, but it's no different in the physical world. Indeed, it's a bit like peeling back the, the layers of an onion, if you like. It's, uh, the idea is you've got many, many layers of security. And uh, so multiple products is the key, and I use those both here at home and when I'm out on tour. So let's get back in the garage and I'll show you some of the products that I use. OK, so the first thing that I do to keep my bike secure and uh, perhaps the most basic thing is to keep them in a brick-built garage. Now, of course, I realise not everybody is lucky enough to be able to do that. Uh, and, of course, in itself, a brick-built garage isn't that secure a place. Things like these garage doors aren't particularly secure. So in order to uh, make my garage a bit of a safer place to keep my bike, uh, or bikes, I've had one of these things installed. It's called a Garsman. It's basically a security barrier that goes across the garage door. It, uh, it's quite it's straightforward how it, how it works. It doesn't take much explaining. It's a brilliant bit of kit, I think. Basically, it's very solidly made. It's tamper-proof, uh, and uh, many of you have commented on it, having seen it on my various videos. It's mounted in such a way as to be pretty much attack-proof. Uh, it's got a tamper-proof bullet lock at one end with an anti-drill guard, so uh, no one can actually try and get in there. On the other end, it's got a fully welded and enclosed head, which includes wings to stop attacks from hammers and chisels. It's bolted and bonded to the floor and walls and uses a special material that's stronger than concrete uh, that it's actually mounted in. So I've actually got uh, two of these installed, one on each door, and I'm really happy with the security that they provide. They're super easy to use. Uh, you've, a number of you have commented on them, as I say, in, uh, in some of my videos of me actually using it. And they're mounted in such a way as to be too low for a typical motorcycle to get under. So uh, you can't actually get a bike with a normal handlebar width under these barriers, and it's just it's hot, too high to get a bike over as well, well certainly uh, easily anyway. It takes several chaps to lift a bike over there. The barrier can also be fitted with uh, solid anchor points so you can run chains as well to actually lock your bike uh, to, to the barrier itself, which is another handy extra feature. Oh, and these things are quite handy as well for doing your press-ups as part of your morning exercise regime. All right, so uh, what about the downsides of the barrier then? Well, uh, there's not really any. It's very easy to use and it's very simple to see, you know, how the thing is supposed to work. I guess there is a little bit more hassle getting your bikes in and out uh, of the garage in the morning. You know, you've got this lock to deal with, but it's very straightforward. Um, and actually, it's a pleasure to use as well. The way that the sort of hydraulics and so on work is actually a lovely bit of kit to use. And then, of course, the other thing is the cost of them. They are quite pricey, but then if you consider uh, the price of these barriers against actually losing your bike or bikes, particularly if you've got a collection of bikes like I have, then uh, suddenly it seems like better value. Incidentally, if you, if you do want one of these, they come from a, pr um, a company called Image4 Security, and uh, I've teamed up with them to get you some money off them if you want. So you can, if you use the code TMF50, uh, I'll put a link below, uh, and also the code on the screen, uh, and you go to their website, you can get £50 uh, off one of these. You can, uh, you can install them yourself, or you can get them to come and uh, install it for you. Uh, I got them to do mine. As I say, £50 off using the code TMF50 if you want one of these puppies. So well worth checking it out. Link below. Right, the next product that I've recently come across that I wanted to show you is uh, a well-tried and tested bit of technology, if you like, but uh, this is a bit, of a bit of a different twist on the old favourite of the lock and chain. So what am I talking about? This mahoosive puppy and this. It's absolutely huge, as you can see. It's called the uh, Oxford Beast. This is the Beast lock and this is the Beast chain. Let me show you a bit more about it. Okay, so first the lock, the Oxford Beast. It is an absolutely massive puppy, as you can see. It uh, weighs over four, well, four kilograms in itself, so a pretty heavy old bit of kit. It's got a 30 mil locking pin in there, which is really hard to get at. It's been made of especially hardened steel to resist angle grinder attacks. Uh, it's also got a very special high-tech key that apparently is super hard to uh, pick as well. Basically, uh, in there, and God, it's heavy. Twist that round. There you go. And there's the locking pin, as you can see, a massive bit of kit. It's uh, it really does feel solid and pretty unbeatable. In fact, it's so solid, it's been awarded the Gold Secured Diamond rating, which is the highest rating for locks of this type. 
Sorry, did I say gold secure? I meant, of course, soul secure diamond rating. And to go with the beast lock is this, the beast chain, which again is an absolute beast. Every link on this weighs as much as a bag of sugar. And this is uh, made of specially hardened steel and these links are 22 millimeters in diameter. Once again, very difficult to uh, get an angle grinder to it. The, of course, these things are super duper heavy and I can barely lift them off the ground, let alone anything else. Now, again, a bit like the Guardsman Barra, excellent security like this does not come cheap. And these locks and those chains will cost you 150 quid a piece. So quite expensive. But again, what price protecting your pride and joy? Uh, I haven't got a discount on these, I'm afraid. But if you check out the links below uh, where you can get these at Sports Bike Shop, you will be helping out the channel because they're affiliate links. So I'll get a little bit of uh, kickback, but no extra cost to you. So uh, go and check that out. Links below, as I say. Okay, so that's all well and good, but what about if uh, you don't keep your bike in the garage or, and you need to keep it outside, or you're out on tour and you can't carry a massive chain like the huge Oxford one around with you? Clearly, that is not a piece of kit that is uh, mobile that you can carry with you. So that's where the next thing uh, comes in handy. It's in here, not the top box, but this here is another lock. This is called the Light Lock. Now, this is a, another new product that I think is absolutely brilliant. Let me just uh, undo this for you. So, this comes from the uh, bicycle world, actually. It's been recently developed for the motorcycle world, uh, and it is, once again, a lock. It's very, very clever, high-tech stuff. It's been designed by an ex-Rolls-Royce aero engineer, and uh, the beauty of this is, it, not only is this very, very strong, it's made out of some very clever, um, almost like cables inside, but they're more like springs, which means that they're very difficult to chop with any sort of uh, cable cutters, or indeed angle grinders. Um, and uh, it, not only is it very strong, but it's very, very light as well, and as you can see, very compact. So, once you've got a... a rolled up you can keep it in your top box no problem at all absolutely perfect for traveling around with i think it's brill it's uh, got this again one of these very secure uh, type of locks as well that's supposed to be anti-pick uh, proof so uh, yeah i really think that is a great that is the lock that i've been i've been looking for for a long time and once again, uh, I'm afraid security doesn't come particularly cheap. One of these will cost you £120 this time. Uh, but the good news is, oh, this has a sole secure gold rating as well, so it's been proven to be pretty much tamper-proof. Uh, but yeah, the good news is I can get you 10% off on one of these. There's a link below. If you follow my website below, you'll get 10% off on one of these light locks. So, as I mentioned at the start, it's not just about physical security that's keeping your bike safe luck, uh, but it's about building up layers of that so-called security onion that we talked about at the start of the video. So, uh, as well as the physical security, like locks and chains and what have you, barriers on the garage door, uh, I also like to use bike trackers. Now, I have trackers on all my bikes uh, of different types. On my uh, Ducati and on my uh, BMW, I've got the really expensive bike track trackers, which are fantastic bits of kit, which offer great functionality, but they are very, very expensive. They're about... Uh, four to five hundred pounds to buy and get fitted and then it's a hundred pound subscription every year so although they're good they are expensive it does mount up when you've got a lot of bikes and the big downside of those sort of trackers for me is that they drain your battery i have to leave my bikes uh, plugged into trickle charges all the time because if i don't after a couple of days the batteries are just flat so the other solution for tracking your bike is uh, a bit less expensive, a bit less complicated, and I've talked about these before, and that is these things, the Monimoto Bike Tracker. These are self-contained units and offer, I think, much better value for money. These cost around about 120 quid, 140 quid, depending on which version you buy, and they're self-contained, they have a battery within them, so they don't drain your battery. They don't offer quite the functionality of the bike track trackers, but they do give you peace of mind, you do know where your bike is, they do set an alarm off if your bike is moved without you being near it. So I made a video some time back about how you go about installing and using these. I'll put a, a link in the corner here if you've not seen that. Go and watch that so you understand how these things work. But since I made that video, uh, Monimoto have made a few changes to this. So uh, I thought I'd just take the opportunity to show you. This is a new one that I've recently got. And uh, the main change actually comes here with this. This is the key fob. I'm being clever here with two cameras. So hopefully this works, works all right. So this is a slightly different design key fob to the one that they used to have. It's now waterproof, which is quite handy if uh, obviously you carry anything around in the rain. Uh, and also it offers much better battery life. You can actually get three years of battery life out of these now, believe it or not. Uh, on top of that, the, uh, the tracker itself uh, now works with more networks. In the past it only worked with uh, simple networks, but now it's 2G, 3G and 4G. It also offers uh, more advanced positioning, better live tracking, so on, so better functionality as well. So, uh, yeah, still uh, highly recommend these. I'm still using these myself, and, uh, yeah, great bits of kit. doesn't break the uh, bank either. They, as I say, cost you about 120 to 140 quid, depending on which one you get, uh, and then you just have to pay to keep the SIM card active, which is around about 20 quid a year, so uh, not going to break the bank that. No installation fees either, of course. 
Like with the other bits of kit I've shown you, I'll put a link below as to where you can get these Morimoto trackers. Again, uh, just for full disclosure, that's an affiliate link. If you click on my link below and you buy one of these, then uh, I get a little bit of a kickback at no extra cost to you. So you'll be helping the channel out if you do that. Thanks very much. Okay, so that's it for my little uh, security product special here on the Mistenden Fly. I hope you enjoyed that, found that of some interest. All four of these products I do personally use myself and rate. I just thought there was something novel about each of these which has made me uh, have these in my personal uh, armoury against uh, bike thieves. Anything you can do to stop uh, bike thieves will help. Don't forget that uh, layering advice that I gave you about the so-called security young. And even if you put a disc lock on your bike and a bike cover over it, that's going to have a great effect at deterring burglars. Don't forget to check out the links below to secure the discounts that I've got you on both the uh, Guardsman Garrett door barrier and on the light lock both brilliant products check those out and uh, if you've come across anything that you think I should be uh, I should know about or should maybe be testing or reviewing here on the mission and fly to do with security let me know stick them in the comments below and I'll take a look at them if this is the first time you've uh, been to my channel thank you very much indeed for watching I don't just do product reviews here on the mission and fly but I try and do a bit of everything I do uh, bike tours at home and abroad I do how to look after your bike here in the garage uh, basically anything and everything to do with motorcycles I'll try and cover it here on the mission and fly it'd be great to have you join me again if you've not done so already hit that subscribe button down below or the thumbs up or the down whatever helps and uh, that way i can speak to you again soon until then this has been the mist and fly cheerio uh, out and about on tour and here in the guest all again so of course if uh, somebody really does want to uh, let's do that again and it's no difficult no and it's no different in the physical world I've had this thing installed, it's called a Guardsman, and uh, it's a brilliant bit of kit, and uh, let's do that all again. Sorry, did I say cell secure? I meant, um, sorry, did I say cell So, that's all well and good. Let's just turn the light on this time, do it again.